Hey, how are you doing? So Fatima is based off of the events that took place in Portugal in 1917, which is obviously a really long time ago. So how did you prepare to embody this character um, set in this specific time period? So first I went straight to Marco when I got chosen for the role. Of course, so he could tell me a bit about how he wanted to make her uh, look, uh, dress, act around everyone around her. And then what helped me was the costume, you know, the hair and makeup, uh, the set. It made me feel more like Lucia, you know, and it made me understand her better. Well, Lucia is dealing with such a difficult experience of seeing the Virgin Mary and no one believing her. Um, did you try to, um, you know, go into your script and see how she might deal with that? Because that's obviously a really difficult situation to be placed in when her mother doesn't even believe her. How do you think that she stayed true to her faith? When I was reading the script, I really admired how strong she was, of course, and how brave she was through all of it. And what kept her going was her faith, you know, in herself and in the Virgin. It's what kept her uh, from not giving up the second, you know, people just put her down and down. Didn't believe her because she was a child and they thought she was playing or whatever. But yeah, and what kept her going was, like I said before, her faith. And uh, her, she was really optimistic. And that's also something I love about her, that her hope too, you know, so. Yeah, it was a story that was very uplifting, which I think is something that we need right now to stay positive and grateful during this time. But I wanted to ask you, as far as Lucia and that scene with her mother where she slaps her, I think that was such a painful, really intense scene to watch. And she told me that um, you guys filmed that scene first. So that was the first scene you guys filmed together? Yes, it was actually, but she was really nice about everything. She was like, I'm not going to touch her, I'm not going to hit her or anything. And I was like, oh, you know, but uh, there was a specialist on set that came with us and taught us exactly how to, you know, her, how to slap me, you know, uh, react to that at the same time. We had to have it perfectly timed together with the acting and the emotion. And I feel like that scene is what really made us connect first. You know, it started off really emotional. I was supporting her, but then, you know, it went downwards, but Lucia is a wonderful person and a wonderful actress too. And we really had a great time together on set, off set. We ate together, we spent time together. She's great. Yeah, but I'm sure it was difficult in, for your character since her mother is taking out a lot of that frustration with, because, mm -hmm. you know, she's just so distraught with, you know, your brother being away at war and not knowing if he's going to return. Um, what do you think that was like for Lucia to have her mother kind of turn against her? It was really, it must have been really tough, honestly, because I think that's the person that she looked up to the most, you know, her mom. Uh, she just was looking for reassurance and for her to, you know, understand her. But in the end, it got a bit messy, the situation. But it was kind of like an emotional roller coaster with them too, because in the end, I can't say how it ends, but you know, you know. Yeah. And I feel like their connection was what kept them, you know, together and going through that tough experience and situation, you know. Yeah, and um, what was maybe your favorite scene to film? Was it? I don't, I wouldn't imagine it was the slapping, the slapping scene because that was a tough one, but what was your favorite scene out of the entire movie to film? Well, I like, I like filming emotional scenes. I like filming all types of scenes. I have fun anyways. I know it's fake and I like getting to, you know, Lucia's emotions sometimes, but the yeah. most, fun, well, there were lots, um, mainly it was the apparition scenes with Jorge Alejandro and Joanna the Virgin um, because we had so much fun doing the first apparition. Uh, we were running through, you know, the grass and nature. We were actually having fun and there were so many animals around the sheep, you know, I love animals. Really nice. So when you were filming there were, yeah, actual sheep hanging out. 
the, there was an actual shepherd on set telling us how to move them because they were like still they wouldn't move so you had to you know make them move so you had to go and like move um but also i really enjoyed filming the last scene it was really it was a long it was a hard scene to film but it was really fun to film it at the same time because it was just the whole cast was there together and it was the only moment i feel like lucia was happy you know and yeah were there it was like so it, beautiful. it finally felt like everything she was fighting for the entire movie it was finally worth it because with that the miracle of the sun everybody's kind of finally on the same page so I wanted to say, like, how was that scene filming that? Because there was a lot of moving parts, I hear. There was, like, rain, and then there was these clouds. So what was that like for you? Yeah, like I said, it was the toughest scene because it was a long, because we were filming for, like, a week. Uh, because obviously, technically, it's really hard, too. There was a huge machine above us that was, like, um, Edo, the you know, director, assistant, uh, shouted rain and then, then it poured, then stop. And then we had to dry up completely. So we would start off dry and then wet. And then it was a whole process, but honestly, it was all worth it because that that's the most beautiful scene in the movie. It turned out great. So yeah, I'm, yeah, I'm proud of it. Yeah, visually it was amazing what what actually happened to the sky and the sun coming down on everyone. Did you um did you guys actually film in Portugal or did you get a chance to go to Fatima? We filmed in Portugal. We didn't film in Fatima, but I visited it with my grandma later. It was really emotional. But we filmed in Lisbon, Tapada de Mafra, Tomar, and Citadel, the town, village scenes. And it's really great because I got to visit all these new places that I've never been to before, you know. Yeah, you said it was emotional. What, what, what was emotional like seeing, seeing that town? Yeah, I, I we went to the sanctuary of Fatima, and... What was most, you know, touching was seeing everyone on their knees. There's a scene in the movie where, where Lucia is on her knees, you know, she's just giving up, but not at the same time. She's still grabbing onto her faith. And it's so inspiring to see that and to see that in the sanctuary of Fatima, where me and my grandma saw that. It was like, wow. So... Wow, amazing. Well, I thought the film turned out absolutely amazing. I'm sure it's kind of tough with it coming out and us still kind of being in quarantine, but what are you hoping that when audiences do get to watch this film that they take away? Take away the, the message and how meaningful that message is in general and how hope and faith can bring us together and make us more optimistic. This movie is also about optimism and believing in yourself and never giving up. So it's actually really special that it's coming out right now at this time of crisis. And it's really sad what's happening. So I hope that people, you know, get the message and be more optimistic and hope that everything will end soon. Amazing. And so my last question for you is, um, is there any other projects that we can see you in? Is there anything that's coming up that you can tease for us? Because we would love to see you on screen all the time. You did such a wonderful job. Thank you. I have been in two films here in Spain, and the international one is Terminator Dark Fates, a little participation, but I had lots of fun, and a couple TV series, and what's coming next? Right now, I'm filming a series here in Spain, um, obviously with all the safety precautions still, the coronavirus, and later, I'm doing castings here and there for 2021 projects which is exciting, but it is exciting. Awesome. Well, hello. I am absolutely so impressed with this film. I think it's the message that we really need to kind of stay faithful during a time that's really difficult for their community. Um, and I think that that really relates to right now with the pandemic going on. We really need to kind of have hope and faith for everything that's going on. I wanted to know how you personally have kind of stayed hopeful or positive during this pandemic as an actor and how you've kind of still stayed creative? Well, um, I was in Los Angeles uh, during, during the, the worst kind of time when everything started and the kids were on Zoom school and uh, every weekend I was 
we're blessed to we live in LA, so the desert is really close, but there's literally nobody. So we would sit in a car every weekend and there was a little a reward for them for doing school at home. We would spend yeah. Saturday, Sunday in the desert every weekend, literally. Oh, wow. So so they really I, I tried to make it really fun for them and for myself, yeah. to be honest with you. And it worked out because they were cooped in a house. They couldn't see yeah. their friends. So it was a little bit tough. But we, 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 did, we did a pretty good job with that. You know, they were kind of like, Dad, Dad, are we leaving Saturday? Where are we going? So um, work-wise, I, was, um, I, I bought the rights for this Croatian graphic novel. And my friend and I oh, cool. uh, are writing the script. And we finished the script. We have a, we have a, a, a we work on scripts two and three already and you know so we've, we've been so you've really stayed busy. busy yeah yeah no it's it's easier you know in, in our in our profession you can always do something you know you can prepare mm -hmm. you can work on 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 many different things and now when we talk things started cooking up a little bit you know the productions are coming back so um, I did the TV show, The Boys, uh, second season. I'm there about four episodes. That's coming out in about seven, eight days on Amazon in what? the States. The Fatima is coming out in a few days. So it's kind of, it, feels, it feels kind of busy. So I, I've been always a positive guy. And I, I said, look, it happened. Uh, but we need to stay positive. And this, the, the message of this, that these kids deliver to, to these adults is, you know, a message of love and message of acceptance and message of we need to be better to each other. We need to pray. We need to be more respectful towards each other. We need to love our fellow human more. And yeah. that message is never bad, ever, no. you know? It's never it a bad repeated. message. It no. never is because, you know, you see that no one in this town is really believing these children and no one really wants to kind of say no they're telling the truth but you know it's difficult for lucia's parents uh because they have a son who you know they don't know if he's going to come back so yeah. and and the mother's absolutely distraught by you know the thought of him being dead at war but she takes it out on lucia and so i want to know for you like you're kind of an in-between of like trying to balance all these different emotions and seeing everybody kind of fall apart. Um, how did you approach to embody that character? How did you prepare for it? Well, I mean, w w when you read the script, there's one interesting thing happening, you know, when, when, the, when, when people come to see the seers, you know, they come to see them because they have some issues, they have some problems. They think if seers pray for them that they're gonna be healthy or uh, some ailments are gonna disappear or, or their son's gonna come alive from the war. Yeah. So it's always, I need something in return for, a, you know, but, but what the message was, the message was actually, you need to be better towards other people. You need to love each other more. You need to pray more, but pray, you know, I want to become a better person, not pray, oh, I need this and that. I want to, I want to win the lottery. <laughs> you stop know what I mean? asking, stop asking for like blessings, exactly. but just be more of a blessed person. Yeah. In exactly. It's more like I, I, you know, because if you, there's a saying in Croatian language that says, you know, if you help yourself, God's going to help you too. So there is, there's, there's a bit of that, that, it, that it's kind of like that the kids are giving this beautiful, positive message. And these adults are trying to shut it down. Government, church, parents, yeah. everybody from their own reasoning. And the message is just so, I love the scene when Arturo's wife says to him, like, <laughs> why are you doing this? It's a message of peace and love. Why would you suppress it? And he's like, but government, my superiors, my this. Yeah. Like, it doesn't matter. It's, you know. It's kids, it's, it's prayers, it's the Virgin yeah. Mary. And I wanted to know if you had heard of this phenomenon of the miracle of the sun, you know, which brings, you know, it restores faith in these people and they finally are all looking in the same direction. They finally see the sun. But, but Have you, you heard see, of this before? 
No, no, I, I heard of Fatima as as appearance of the Virgin Mary, but I, I didn't hear, I, I didn't know the details. I learned mm -hmm. the details when I came there, when I started working on a, on a script and I started doing my own research, I heard about it. But again, it's like, do we need the miracle in order to start to believe and in order to start being better people and loving God? You know what I mean? Right. I was always kind of like, that was... There was always clash in me. Maybe that's why I'm a good person to play Arturo. I don't know. I was like, you know, if you want to be a good person and a believer, you don't need a proof of the divinity. You know, you just need to do, be better person in general and love other people more. And you, you're going to get it. That's, that's what God tells us to do. Number one, you know. And what was the most um, surprising part about working with Marco um, as the director, what, when you got to set, like how, cause I know he had so many challenges of working with that main scene, the miracle of the sun with so many actors, points he has to um, put together. So for you, like, what was that like working with him on this script? I, the, the thing, the thing I like with Marco is like his energy. He's like a little dynamo on set. He just goes, oh, really? bah, bah, bah. oh yeah, he's very active. He's very, he was never, you could never see him kind of like down. The only thing is like, you know, we need sun and there's a cloud and he would be kind of like, come on, come on, come on. You know, that would be the <laughs> only time he would be sitting still because he couldn't do anything. But yeah. even in the, mean, in the meantime, he would go and say, what, what's that on your costume? No, no, no. He, he, yeah. You know, he's like, I love he's the like energy. very love involved. Like that. Yeah. Like, I would, I would hate to have a director who's kind of like a little sluggish. And sluggish. Right. Marco and I were very on the same energy level in, in that respect. So it was really easy to work with him. And it was very, you know, he's coming from, from camera department. He's director of photography. So visually film is really pretty he really was able to i don't know if you ever been in portugal but it's very special country the, the beauty the nature the burnt grass those oak trees they have they use them for like uh, build, uh, for corks they build everything out of cork trees you know there's a crust there's so many over there so he he really you can see real portugal in front of the camera you know what what are you hoping that the audience takes away when they watch this film, when it comes out in a few days. But that's what, what we talked about before. My favorite part of the film was when these kids and they're portrayed just as a kids, they're not saints, right? They're just kids, you know? And even this poor guy, he can't hear Virgin Mary because he was not maybe as good as these other kids. It's, it's almost like a joke, you yeah. know? So they're like normal kids and they're like teasing him. You can hear her, we can, you know, it's like, I love that. And then the message they're delivering is so pure, it's so clean, it's just very and simple, you know? And I really hope that audience is gonna recognize in the end that that's what this movie is about, that that message that they received from Virgin Mary is just message of love and, and you know, uh, tolerance and to to you know to be more respectful towards other people, other creatures, and everything. You right. know, it's it's as simple as that. Well, yeah. I think you said it best. I'm gonna wrap up here, but I think that that really is the message that everybody needs, especially right now. So yeah. thank you for creating a work of art that really gives us some positive hope. Thank you.